Hello everyone, it's Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you. I should say, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Uh, I nearly forgot the other two things and they're very important. Uh, I try and blend a lot of them when I'm reading. Okay, so um, first of all, I want to look at Marcus Flower, who is the Democratic Party candidate in Georgia facing Marjorie Taylor Greene. First of all, I want to look at that race. Now, I did uh, take a sneak peek earlier on in the week in another forum, and I got really good cards. But the genesis of this question actually arises from a... Um, a conversation you know I was hanging out down on in Twitterverse and I met up with Cash Peters uh, some of you would know his channel um, and thank you Cash for giving me the shout out um, that you did met Cash uh, on Twitter and uh, we started batting about the Marcus Flower versus Marjorie Taylor Green question who is likely to win so uh the long and the short of it is Cash is getting some strange pictures. If you haven't seen that reading, you better go back. Um, he's really not sure whether Marjorie Taylor Greene triumphs and uh, Marcus loses, whether she gets into trouble or whether she, you know, whether she pulls out, she doesn't even stand. We don't, we don't really know, but uh, his, the message for Marcus Flower was don't take anything for granted. You better, um, you know, you better pull out all stops because uh, it wasn't a clean victory as, I, as I'm as i understanding it. I don't want to look at that reading of Cash's until I finish this um, uh, for Marcus. So I said, well, hang on a minute, Cash. Me old mate Cash. Um, let's uh, take a look via the tarot. And so that's what I want to do today and see what, what we've got here. Uh, and I've got some really I've got a couple of really good decks out so that we hopefully will get a good answer um, I also want to look at uh, you would know uh, Gossa the rep in Congress uh, I think he's from Arizona drew uh, or, or posted an anime um, of AOC um, being being killed this is really really dark horrible energy uh, and on that, if you haven't seen um, UK medium Amanda Ellis's reading on Travis Scott and the concert where eight people died, you might want to head over. That came up in my High Priestess reading. There's some really, really strong energies around at the moment. That's what the High Priestess is doing here. I will bring her in when I do my uh, Lunar Eclipse in Taurus, which is coming up on the 19th of November. I'm, ho I'm hoping to do that reading. I can see on over the weekend, I can see the High Priestess everywhere in that chart. Some really interesting things are jumping out at me. But that's for another reading. Is, is AOC safe? Because you can't uh, deal in this energy. You can't push out this kind of energy where you post something to Twitter. We already know AOC has had death threats. She was in real jeopardy during the insurrection. Um, you can't do that and not you know expect it all to be a picnic in the park. Uh, he's calling on some pretty violent, we know, are violent forces. Is AOC safe? Uh, I really don't want it to get to us, or I'm, nobody wants it to get to a stage where uh, enough is enough and someone gets hurt and they get hurt because no one took, no one on the Republican side took action. Hmm. Let's have a look at that. And uh, if I can, I'll pay the ex president, ex pres. Who goes by lots of names from various light workers and astrologers and readers. Uh, the ex pres <laughs> Let's take a look at if he's in deep doo <laughs> in Fulton and Manhattan because um, I suspect he is. There's some really strong things going on in Georgia, which is really interesting as we move into the Marcus Flower and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, reading. All right, let's, uh, it's 11 of, 11th of the 11th, 11th of the 11th month, 2021, in Australia, 11-11, 2021. 
there's some good numerology there, powerful numerology uh, for the individual, the identity, the first house in the in the zodiac, where everything starts, inception, new beginnings, powerful numerology. Before we get into the readings, let's just take a look at the uh, what 1111 2021 needs, to, what is the underlying energy of 1111 2021. It's the gateway portal. Obviously, 11 is a divine number. It is the gateway to, you know, to the um, spiritual realm. Okay. If you think of white feathers, where do white feathers come out of the sky when you need them? <laughs> they come from that 11 gateway portal. That's just my description of it. Okay. 11, 11, new beginnings. What, it, what does 1111 have to tell us? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got Wake Up Call, Tsunami coming out. If you've seen my readings, you'll know that that's a, uh, that's a message that I keep bringing up. Um, wake Up Call, Tsunami, being overwhelmed in some way. Ceremony, Invocation. Um, you know, to me, this, uh, I was going to say screams, but this tells me uh, that we should all be raising our vibration and putting our, our spiritual protection around us because the energies are quite dark in some situations. And if you're interacting with those situations, any dark situations, call on, call on the divine call on the divine for protection and we have fog and veiled okay so it's sort of like just like darkest before the dawn feeling here um and this is you know why i want to bring in the gossa reading and is aoc safe um it's yeah there's something around these energies here uh and the high priestess is asking us you know, I'll leave the astrology for, for the weekend, but uh, we have all the gifts and abilities that we need within us and we need to be using them. We need to be calling upon our intuition. We need to be seeing around corners. We need to be planning. Uh, we need to be protecting. We need to be communicating with spirit. We need to be recognizing what is dark and what is light in this world. Um but it's difficult for some. It's difficult for some. So at the base of the pack, you know, what are we moving through uh, to? Music, harmony, childhood, innocence, waterfall, effortless. If this is the destination, mountain strength, is it not worth it? Okay. Right, 11-11-2021. Let's move into some of these political tarot questions i'm using that was earth magic oracle cards i'm now using my cos cosmos gosh i've forgotten the name of this deck i'll dig it out and uh, find it for you and then um, my aquarian tarot and classic tarot deluxe if i need it i think this is the cosmos Arrow of the cosmos. I'll find it. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Um, Marcus Flowers. Flower. Marjorie Taylor Green. Okay. I feel I need to phrase it. What is Marjorie Taylor Green's political future? What is Marjorie Taylor Green's political future? future mark now i'm just getting the five of wands obviously um and also the seven of wands you know you put out that energy it comes back at you and it does so reasonably quickly it's almost like instant karma okay marjorie taylor green i've had that happen you know where i've you know i struggle with my <laughs> you know my ego self like everybody else and um Venus in Scorpio too, uh, for those astrologers on this channel. Um, you know, and I and I know when you put out that bad, you know, that bad vibe that, uh, you know, someone wrongs you and you straight away want 
some kind of vindication or, or revenge and you, you put that energy out, it's like a boomerang, it'll come back. That's the kind of feeling I get with her. Marjorie Taylor Green. what's her political future? Because she knows what she's doing is wrong. Okay, we've got the Empress. So this is, could be even her, abundance, what's she in it for? Partially, the money perhaps. This is uh, a season of time as well. And it's also my card for Russia. Do I think she's a, you know, she's in, in league with Russia? No, I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to say that a lot of her antics is money related. She wants that abundance. But she is crossed by the four of swords. So wounded in battle, retreat. That's an interesting energy. That is an interesting energy. Now, remember, she came to political life via QAnon. And do we need to say more about QAnon? They're setting up a base in Texas because uh, they want to be around there when JFK comes back to life and JFK Jr. to re-establish the ex prayers back in the White House. Some of them didn't want to leave Texas, so now they're establishing a base down there. And this is why I worry about people like AOC, because these people have lost the plot. All right, okay, She's not, she's a bit um, more calculating. She is uh, wanting to make money out of all of this, out of this gig. Now we see here the Four of Swords retreat, wounded in battle. Okay, so that's crossing that abundant energy. Could mean a lot of things that her fame is short lived. The Eight of Swords, is, as the foundation, is anxiety and restriction. She's anxious about something at the moment. Of course, you know, January 6th committee gets closer and closer. Now we see photos uh, that could be released or are released of Pence in the loading dock because he was locked out of his vice presidential office. office. They're photos he didn't want to be released. During January the 6th, the vice president was in the loading docks because he couldn't get in to the safety of his office. He wouldn't get in the car with the Secret Service and be taken away. He wanted to do his duty while they were yelling, hang pence. Queen of Cups in the past. Now, this is Cancerian water energy. It's also nurturing. It's also revelations. Okay, so, but this is in the past position. The Queen of Cups almost reminds me of her um, her neighbour in the Democratic Party. Remember, was, was that Marjorie Taylor Greene got into a huge, or was that Bobert? Uh, one's blonde, one's dark. Uh, but this, you know, it almost reminds me that, um, of that, Democratic Party woman who was next in the office next door and uh, and requested to be moved. There's a violence here and always has been with her. Four of Pentacles. Okay, she's what? Yeah, okay. Okay, she's worried about something, information that will come out or that could be coming out. That's what's crowning this reading. It is... Also standing your ground, not being pushed off. Uh, but this is also around holding something close. The two of swords in the immediate future. She's going to be faced with the crossroads situation. What's her political future? In the immediate future, there's a crossroads coming up for her. She has to make a decision. Queen of Pentacles. In the here and now, this is financial security and stability. Is she going to be sued in a civil, uh, in a civil suit for some reason? Um, right now, she's enjoying what she considers to be the fruits of her labor. Let's see what the environment is around. Uh, that is the six of wands. That is victory. So right now, she's in a victorious political situation. In the hopes and fears, the eight of pentacles. Hopes and fears. She's worried about her money. 
She's worried about uh, earning it, but she's also worried about losing it. If they were to dig a little bit deep, more deeply into a financial situation, it would be interesting. Interesting to see, is she being paid in some way? Is her, are her donations, for example, being funneled through somewhere? There's some, some money issue she's worried about. Princess of Swords, yeah, there is a truth that will emerge. She also carries the sword, the sword of battle. But remember the Four of Swords, cross her, Princess of Swords. And we've got the Star of Hope here. Okay, and the High Priestess. Yeah, something coming up. Secrets being revealed. Somebody knows something about her which could be revealed. The truth will emerge. Now, it's either connected with finances, money, donations, something. Connections with overseas donations, something like that. Or it's connected back to that January 6th. This person could be Pelosi or even AOC. It's got a Democratic Party feel to it, but it's in the past. So the Nine of Cups, Miracles and the Sun and the Ten of uh, Pentacles, she's making money. She absolutely is making money. I don't know how she does that, but there is a money flow coming to her as a result of her politics. Uh, and she's, yeah, she's kind of lucky like that. But the fours, the four of pentacles and the four of swords, the truth emerging at, as the outcome followed by that high priestess. No wonder Cash got strange photos. It is, it is a mixed bag. But something is going to cause her to be mortally, not mortally wounded, but uh, cause her to retreat in some way. All right, let's take a look at will she. I, all right, we're at 17 minutes already. We'll have to make this a little bit shortened. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at will she. Um, how am I going to phrase this? All right. Will Marcus Flowers, the Democratic Party candidate, win against either Marjorie Taylor Greene or some other Republican candidate? Will Marcus Flower in Georgia, the Democratic candidate, win against a Republican candidate in Georgia? So we've got the Prince of Cups. Um... He's certainly getting people on side. He's an ex-veteran. Um, not an ex-veteran. He's a veteran, ex-defence uh, force. Um, and there's offers coming to him. Now, for those who weren't aware, a swathe of county elections went to the Democratic Party in Georgia. There is a lot happening in Georgia, as much as all as you can be upset about various things in Virginia. There's a lot to be, um, I guess, celebrating in Georgia. The five of pentacles. Okay, so left out in the cold, that's that's crossing, crossing him. So he has this kind of energy where he's getting people on side, but we have the five of pentacles energy, which is a, a, a loss energy as well. So Let's see what is at the foundation. Eight of Cups, loss. All right, the High Priestess is in the is in the past. So yeah, this is this is interesting. Does Marjorie Taylor Greene not run again, and does another Republican candidate run, or are we picking up all of those energies? Mm, the Empress card um, is crowning this reading. Mm. The Eight of Wands. So we've got information emerging in the immediate future very quickly, like bomb bombshells, like meteors out of the sky hitting the earth. Some We're going to hear something regarding this race soon. The World Card, Endings and Beginnings. Again, what do we need to, uh, I guess, be cognizant of on the 11th of November 2021 that we are in this 
murky period before new beginnings. A lot is coming to the surface. Endings and beginnings. And the sun card. So in a way, he's got he's got a lot of good energies uh, manifesting at this time. The nine of cups in the hopes and fears. So we've got miracles, wish fulfillment, but it's only in the hopes and fears position. Well, six of swords, moving out of troubled waters for all those heavy lost cards at the beginning of the Celtic cross, which to me indicate the kind of current energies. And there's also a potential uh, for loss there as well, for some not, you know, for it not to go his way. He gets the six of swords, which is moving out of troubled waters. It's a, it's a, it's a yes card and the queen of wands queen of wands so he's going to get a lot of votes from women <laughs> um they're going to like this candidate and the queen of swords the you know i don't know him but if he comes across as logic logical um i don't know what his astrology sign is uh, and we'll have time to look at the chart maybe further down the track. But uh, this is air energy. Air energy. So we've got, they see him as bringing more stability. So what I'm going to say is he's going to get a section of the electorate right on side with him. But there is a sectorate that will set a section of the electorate that won't vote for him. He has the potential to take the election. Something strange is going on with Marjorie Taylor Greene, but I have to say, but uh, that five of pentacles there is crossing that knight of cups energy, which isn't isn't a good sign. Yet the outcome cards are quite positive. So um, at the base of the pack, we've got the wheel of fortune, nice underlying energy, the lovers and the king of cups so you know to me this is biden and trump energy the trump of the the cold of trump the cold of the ex-president biden's energy and we've got obviously what is uh, so present with that high priestess is the potential for the truth to unfold and we've got it always up against this five of wands partisan energy all right, uh, I'm just going to do one more, one more question around uh, Gossar and AOC. Now, his own party aren't sanctioning him. Uh, there are calls for a criminal prosecution here. Gossar tweeting out an anime that showed him killing AOC and fighting Biden with swords. You know, if he wasn't a rep in Congress, the police would have come with the hand... The FBI would have come, and then the police would have come with the handcuffs, and then someone possibly could have come with a straitjacket. Um, let me just plug in my... Uh, uh, my oops. Plug in my computer. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should have done that before I started. Okay. All righty. Let's get going. Is a AOC okay? AOC okay? Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Now she's the rep for is it is it Brooklyn in New York or the Bronx? New York based politician. AOC is she, is she okay? Is she going to be okay? Okay, we've got the Eight of Rods, so something coming forward quite quickly. Okay, that just jumped out. News coming forward. She might even have, she might even uh, show us the death threats that she's got since then. Um, that refuses to go away. That's communication, social media as well. Uh, let's have a look. AOC. So we've got yes, she 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 emerges from the, this victorious. Um, she is um, 
The hanged man uh, crosses this victory, though. The hanged man crosses this victory. So um, I feel also her movement will be quite limited as a result of the threats that she's getting. I think it's ramping up. I think that's what the Eight of Wands is all about. Mm. Foundation of the, the reading is um, retreat, the Four of Swords. Uh, she needs to be, yeah, she needs to be careful. And, no, but, you know, she already knows that Seven of Rods defending herself. I mean, they targeted her in the insurrection. Imagine how that felt. You know, she's paying a high price. For being so brilliant of mind and courageous of principle and her beliefs stepping forward she's paying that high price now we've got the knight of pentacles um in the sky crown in this reading this is uh somebody who's reliable sustainable but it can also be the loyal acolyte as well that's in the sky but we've got in the immediate future, the full card. So that's like a new start. I asked, was she going to be okay? In, in the immediate future, yes. The Wheel of Fortune, um, so a certain amount of that Jupiter luck energy shining on her. Uh, but we also have the Page of Cups, which is, again, similar to that Eight of Wands energy in my mind, the way that the energies present to me something quick emerging that takes us by surprise in the hopes and pe hopes and fears the six of pentacles giving and receiving help her hope is to help as many people as she can i mean that's coming through this reading the ten of pentacles yes it looks like she's going to be protected um Ten, the judgment card, something coming to an inevitable end and a decision needing to be made. I don't know who her family are, but that is a family card. So it could be those around her are also getting pressured. Um, she's got a decision to make and a truth coming forward and a heavy decision to make. What's underneath? It's the price. The five of wands, the price that she pays. Uh, the moon card for, for uh, I guess, the shadow side targeting her uh, because of um, who she is. Three of wands and the death card. Um, they are planning. Somebody is planning something. Uh, I'm feeling that, that the FBI will intercept. But it is a like a close call, whether it's her or someone around her that you know, family or friends. It's a close call, it makes her make a decision. She's faced with a heavy decision in the future. Now, um, I just quickly before I go, and I said this would be reasonably short, and it's not. I want to know if Gossar is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> no, don't tell me. <laughs> I hope I mispronounce his name. <laughs> Paul, is it? Paul Gossa. Okay. I think he's from Arizona. Uh, something's overturned here. The Knight of Cups, he might come out after something nearly occurs with it, this huge apology. Uh, it could be the wake-up call that showed up at the beginning of this reading. Okay. Gossa, will he be charged with anything? Gossa, be charged with anything? So he's like the type, uh, nervous type, and he's um, feeling a lot of pressure as well as should and anxiety about this question. And the magician card, something is manifesting, manifesting the six of pentacles, giving and receiving help, loans and debts, balancing of the scales. Justice is in the past. That's, if it's not this matter, it's some other matter. Connected with the ex -prez. Now we have moderation. Uh, this is a December time frame. If he's not caught on this, he's going to be caught on something else that he's done. Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Four of Pentacles insecurity. 
You know, they may as well just put them all in uh, onto one side, the Marjorie Taylor Greens, the Boberts, um, Bobarts, whatever her name is, Gossar, Gates, et al. Put them all in a corral. <laughs> okay, and put them all in the same basket of deplorables. All right, so we have two of pentacles. He's walking a tight right, bro. Yeah, and he's being judged. Um... I don't think he's going to be criminally prosecuted for this, but he's going to face very strong judgment. Is this the ethics committee and a decision needs to be made? So it's more along the lines of congressional um, congressional fallout for him uh, and public fallout as well. Um, that's the picture I'm getting. Three of uh, rods and the five of swords. His abuse of power is manifesting as we speak. And we've got the nine of cups and the eight of pentacles. It is time for boundaries. If you want the new start, there's work. As I keep saying, oh no, I'm exhausted. I can't do any more work. Well, that's the swan song of my lifetime, really. I'm exhausted. I can't do any more work. But hey, um, you know, we find a way... We find a destination, we find a place that we need to get to and we go about getting to it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'll be back with this astrology reading I'm going to do for the lunar eclipse on the in Taurus, remembering that the north nodes <laughs> are moving, north node is moving into Taurus soon and the south into Scorpio. What an interesting time that will be. Um, but anyway, that's for a later reading. Bye for now, everyone. I'll talk to you again soon with another reading.